The Tesla Model 3, a prominent figure in the electric vehicle revolution, has recently been the subject of significant safety research, particularly in how it interacts with roadside safety measures. In a new study by the Midwest Roadside Safety Facility at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, the Model 3's performance in crash tests against traditional guardrails highlighted the urgent need for infrastructure adaptation to keep pace with the evolving automotive landscape. During a crash test conducted in September, a 2018 Tesla Model 3 sedan encountered a guardrail at high speed. Unlike traditional vehicle impacts, the Model 3 lifted the guardrail and slid underneath it, eventually coming to rest behind the barrier. This unexpected outcome underscores a critical challenge the current roadside safety measures, primarily designed for gasoline-powered vehicles, may not be adequate for the distinct physical properties and impact behaviors of electric vehicles. The Tesla Model 3's unique interaction with the guardrail can be attributed to its design and weight distribution. EVs like the Model 3 are heavier than their gasoline counterparts, largely due to their batteries. This increased mass, combined with a lower center of gravity, affects how the vehicle absorbs and distributes the force upon impact. The incident with the Model 3 raises concerns about the effectiveness of existing guardrail systems to safely manage and mitigate crashes involving electric vehicles. This pioneering research initiative, sponsored by the U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center, aims to reassess and possibly redesign roadside barriers to accommodate the growing presence of EVs on the road. The Tesla Model 3's performance in the crash test serves as a crucial data point in this larger investigation, highlighting the necessity for a new approach to roadside safety that considers the unique characteristics of electric vehicles. As the proportion of EVs like the Tesla Model 3 increases on highways, the implications for roadside infrastructure, public safety, and vehicle design are profound. This incident not only signals a pivotal moment for automotive safety research, but also emphasizes the need for a collaborative effort to redesign and implement effective safety measures for the future of transportation.